गुड मॉर्निंग यू वॉचिंग टूडे इन पार्लियामेंट विद मी ऐश्वर्या कपूर एंड हेयर द हेडलाइंस फाइनेंस एंड अप्रोप्रिएशन बिल्स इन राज्यसभा फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर अरुण जेटली टू मूव बिल्स इन अपर हाउस फॉर कंसिडरेशन एंड रिटर्न Discussion on the working of three ministries uh, slated in Rajya Sabha discussion on drinking water and sanitation culture and food processing industries the ministries to take place Discussion on reported scams in public sector banks is slated in Rajya Sabha short duration discussion slated in the upper house Lok Sabha to debate alleged banking irregularities under a rule that does not entail voting and a bill to deal with economic offenders who leave the country in the Lok Sabha finance minister Arun Jaitley to move fugitive economic offenders bill it is the second day of the fourth week of the ongoing budget session and disruptions have been frequent throughout this part of the session that began on 5th of march Amidst the disruptions, the Lok Sabha so far cleared the payment of gratuity amendment bill, specific relief amendment bill, and the finance bill. The Rajya Sabha cleared the payment of gratuity bill without discussion. The government is looking to clear crucial legislations in this session and has repeatedly said that it was willing to hold discussions on all issues, including that on no confidence motions. And in the upper house today finance minister Arun Jaitley will move for consideration and return the finance bill 2018 that gives effect to the financial proposals of the central government for the financial year 2018-19 Arun Jaitley will also move for consideration and return the appropriation number 2 bill 2018 The bill authorizes payment and appropriation of certain sums of from and out of the consolidated fund of India for the services of the financial year 2018-19. Arun Jaitley will also move for consideration and return the appropriation number 3 bill 2018. All the bills have been cleared by the Lok Sabha. And a discussion on banking irregularities is slated in the Rajya Sabha today. A short duration discussion is slated on reported scams in uh, some public sector banks and the failure of the banking regulators to check them. Harivansh, Rupa Ganguly and R.K. Sinha will initiate the discussion in the upper house. The issue has been on the list of the business of Rajya Sabha since 7th of March. And in the Lok Sabha as well, discussion on banking irregularities is slated to be raised by N. K. Premachandran of the Revolutionary Socialist Party and K. C. Venu Gopal of the Congress Party. The leaders will raise the issue of alleged systemic irregularities in the banking sector over the years and its impact of, on the Indian economy. The discussion will be held under Rule 193, that does not entail voting. The issue has been on the business of the lower house since 6th of March. but no discussion has been possible due to repeated disruptions over multiple issues and in the upper house today discussion on the working of three ministries will take place the aia dmk mp a navneet krishnan is slated to initiate a discussion on the working of the drinking water and sanitation ministry and a member of the congress will raise discussion on the working of the ministry of culture and a member of the samajwadi party will raise a discussion on the working of the ministry of food processing industries My colleague Kriti Mishra is now joining us live from a Parliament House complex. Uh, Kriti, there is a hope of a smooth functioning of Rajya Sabha today after Chairman M Venkaiah Naidu yesterday was assured by the leaders of various political parties of normal functioning of the house and in that case of course the farewell addresses by the retiring members will be taken up today. Well, Ashwara, chances of a reconciliation look extremely bright today. Uh, remember, yesterday, Chairman had expressed deep anguish over disruptions in the House on the day when the House uh, was expected to accord farewell to the retiring members. Uh, in fact, he had also warned members of stern action. Uh, later, in fact, the leader of uh, several political parties also met Chairman uh, in the chamber, and they assured uh, that the House would function uh, smoothly today. So it is expected that after Chairman's intervention, the House would function today. Uh, the retiring members would make their speeches. The House would uh, hear their contribution to parliamentary democracy and of course uh, a court will a uh, court farewell uh, to the retiring members uh, besides uh, the farewell of course ashwarya uh, the rajya sabha is also expected to return the finance bill today yes. to the lok sabha remember the lok sabha passed this bill on 14th of march and if the rajya sabha doesn't return it uh, within the stipulated time period of 14 days the bill will be deemed to have been passed so certainly it is expected that the house would uh, transact important business today
Ashwara? Of course, and uh, apart from the legislative business, of course, there is a discussion uh, slated on uh, banking irregularities in the upper house. There's also the discussion on working of three ministries. So those will, of course, uh, also be the key, uh, you know, uh, working uh, that we'll see in Rajya Sabha today. Well, Aishwarya, of course, uh, discussion on uh, uh, re scams in uh, several uh, public sector banks and failure of uh, banking regulators to check them. That has been listed uh, in the house uh, uh, in the list of business of the house for several days now. And of course, the government has expressed a willingness to take up the discussion. So all eyes would be on that as well. Besides uh, the discussion on uh, the scams and also the ministries, there are also important bills like the State Bank of India Repeal and Amendment Bill, the Prevention of Corruption Amendment Bill, the Motor Vehicles Amendment Bill. So certainly a very heavy legislative agenda. Ishwara? Absolutely, but much of course will depend on whether the house is able to function or not. But of course, there is a hope that this will happen uh, today after you know the opposition members uh, gave their assurance uh, to the chairman yesterday. Thank you so much, Kriti, for all those updates from Parliament there. Let's take a look at the legislative agenda. And Finance Minister Arun Jaitley will move for the State Bank's Repeal and Amendment Bill 2017 in the Rajya Sabha today. The bill seeks to repeal the State Bank of India Subsidiary Banks Act of 1959, the State Bank of Hyderabad Act of 1956, and also amend the State Bank of India Act 1955. It also aims to make a rational use of the resources made available by the merger of these banks, leading to a reduction in costs and increase in bank profits. The Lok Sabha has already passed this bill. And Transport Minister Nitin Gadkari will move the Motor Vehicles Amendment Bill 2017 in the Upper House. This bill amends the Motor Vehicles Act of 1988 to address issues such as the third-party insurance, the regulation of taxi aggregators and road safety. Now, the bill is important due to radical changes in the law, which is as old as 30 years. It proposes high penalties for various traffic offences, three-year jail for the parents of minors drivers causing fatal accidents and a tenfold increase in the compensation for the families of accident victims. For the deaths in hit-and-run cases, the bill proposes for the government to provide a compensation of 2 lakh rupees or more to the victim's family. Currently, this amount is just 25,000 rupees. And the minimum fine for drunk driving has also been increased from 2,000 rupees to 10,000 rupees in this bill. And in the Rajya Sabha today, Jitendra Singh will move the Prevention of Corruption Amendment Bill 2013. The bill seeks to amend the Prevention of Corruption Act 1988. The bill makes a specific provisions related to giving a bribe to a public servant and giving a bribe by a commercial organization. The bill modifies the definitions and penalties for offenses related to taking a bribe, being a habitual offender and abetting an offense. The powers and procedures for the attachment and forfeiture of the property of the public servants accused of corruption have also been introduced in the bill. The act requires a prior sanction to prosecute a serving public officials and the bill extends this protection to former officials as well. And five bills will be introduced in the Lok Sabha today. Menaka Gandhi will move uh, the Trafficking of a Persons Prevention, Protection and Rehabilitation Bill 2018. The bill aims to prevent the trafficking of persons, especially women and children, and provides for the care, protection and rehabilitation to the victims and prosecutes offenders. Arun Jaitley will move uh, the banning of uh, unregulated deposit schemes bill 2018. The bill provides for a comprehensive mechanism to ban the unregulated uh, deposit schemes and protects the interest of depositors. Suresh Prabhu will introduce uh, the Airports Economic Regulatory Authority of India Amendment Bill 2018. The bill amends the Airports Economic Regulatory Authority of India Act 2008. Ravi Shankar Prasad will introduce the Commercial Courts, the Commercial Division and Commercial Appellate Division of High Courts Amendment Bill 2018 and uh, the Arbitration and Conciliation Amendment Bill 2018. And uh, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley will also move the Fugitive Economic Offenders Bill 2018 in the Lok Sabha today. The bill provides for measures uh, to deter fugitive economic offenders from evading the process of law in India. And the aim of the bill is to tighten the noose on economic offenders and defaulters who flee India. The bill will empower the government to confiscate any property owned by such a person in India. The proposed law will be applicable in cases where the value of offences is over 100 crore rupees. The bill also aims to help banks and other financial institutions to achieve a higher recovery from financial defaults committed by such fugitive economic offenders. And in the Lok Sabha today, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley will also move the CHIT Funds Amendment Bill 2018 
In the lower house, this bill seeks to further amend the Chit Funds Act of 1982. The bill seeks to use the words of fraternity fund under the 1982 Act for a chit business. This seeks to distinguish it from uh, prize chits, so which are banned under a separate law. And uh, some of the other bills in the Lok Sabha include HRD Minister Prakash Jabrekar will move for the National Council for Teacher Education Amendment Bill 2017. The bill seeks to amend the National Council for Teacher Education Act of 1993. Ramila Paswan will move the Consumer Protection Bill 2018. The bill seeks to provide for the protection of the interests of the consumers by establishing authorities for the timely and effective administration and settlement of consumers' disputes. And that's it in this edition of Today in Parliament. Do stay tuned. The proceedings of the Upper House are going to begin in a while. Thanks for watching.